What's a real friend? Someone who brings out the best in you. Someone who's always there for you, even when times are tough. Proverbs 18.24 says that they can even stick closer than a brother. Now that's a real friend. Friends like that are hard to find. And if you worry too much about being liked by everyone, you just may settle for less. So what should you look for? Well, don't judge a book by its cover. Look for what's on the inside. Look for a friend you can trust. A friend who forgives. Someone who doesn't hold your mistakes against you. When it comes to friends, one good friend is better than a hundred fake ones. To find a real friend, you may have to look outside your comfort zone. They may be where you least expect. So be open-minded. Branch out. Don't just settle for a clone of yourself. Potential friends could have hobbies or talents that you don't have. They could be older or younger. They could be of a different background or culture. So don't limit yourself. But remember, real friends need to have good standards. Have you ever had a friend who took advantage of you? Or talked behind your back? Or spread lies about you? You deserve better than that. So watch out for toxic friends. Toxic friends care only about what they can get out of you. They tear you down because of the way you talk, the way you look, or even for your beliefs. Real friends aren't like that. They let you be yourself. So you need to choose smart friends. Not just book smart, but smart in life. They are the kind that stand for something, and they show it. Proverbs 27, 17 says that true friends learn from each other, just as iron sharpens iron. They even make you a better person. So how do you get a friend like that? You can't always expect people to reach out to you. You need to take the initiative. Take the first step and start a conversation. Wait, you do need to talk, but not just about yourself. Ask them questions. Then listen, really listen. You see, listening is one of the best gifts you can give a friend. Now what? Now it's time to put in some work. That's right, work. You have to work to make this friendship grow. So be the kind of friend that's loyal, who doesn't hold a grudge. Be there for them, even when times get tough. When you do this, your friendship will really grow. Philippians 2.4 says to keep an eye not just on yourself, but to take an interest in others. Taking an interest in others is what friendship is all about. You know, you're going to meet a lot of people in life. It'll be up to you to choose your friends. So choose wisely. Choose real friends.